Remakes of older games seem to be the popular trend nowadays. You have the simpler ones like Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, and the more complex reimaginings like Final oh, Fantasy VII yeah. Remake. No company has really dove headfirst into this trend like Square Enix has. And back with their HD 2D style, they're here again with Live Alive. So does this game live up to its expectations? Or is it dead on arrival? So the demo presents you with three different chapters you can play. There's roughly 40 minutes of gameplay in each chapter, and I started off with Distant Future. For this one, I personally found it to be very slow. It's a lot of walking and listening to dialogue. There's not a lot of interaction and gameplay available in this storyline, at least so far. It's very early, so of course they're likely setting up for the bigger plot to come. However, the story in that of itself does not do a lot to pull me in. You have characters who supposedly know each other, and they do interact as if they do. The problem is that I don't know them. So when the big conflict happens, and then the screen cuts to black, and it says, thank you for playing, experience the full story in the full game, I didn't really feel like I wanted to. You're only given about 40 minutes with these characters, and those 40 minutes are divided up into all of these characters as well. So you don't get 40 minutes with one and 40 minutes with another, you get 40 minutes with all of them combined. In some cases, it gives you less of a chance to get a feel for the relationships that they have. Like I said before, there's not a lot of gameplay, so it's not super engaging. Instead, this storyline aims to tell its story rather than engage you in combat. There is combat in the side minigame Captain Square. However, without the memory card item, I wouldn't be able to save my progress, and I didn't find it during the demo. A lot of scenes in this are spent in silence, and sometimes it's just silence and slow movements. When I say that the game feels slow, I mean that a lot of the cutscenes feel very slow. Actions take a long time to happen, and in this sprite-like art style, it just feels like too little is happening at too slow a rate. It's nearly impossible for me to tell you if the story is getting good or if it's not. It just feels like the story is happening. And I'm gonna reiterate this a lot, this is the very beginning of the game. They gave us 40 minutes with this, and I had no clue what to expect. I was hoping for a little something more than what they gave me, like just a little bit more, and maybe they would have hooked me with this storyline. Next I played Imperial China. This one actually wasn't too bad. I think the story's pretty generic, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. A master of martial arts is getting old and he wants to pass on his knowledge and his teachings, so he sets out to find a bunch of disciples. It's not that bad, and it really doesn't end on a heavy, heavy cliffhanger like Distant Future does. But this chapter felt a lot more combat focused. You got to experience the tile turn-based gameplay that you saw in Captain Square in the Distant Future chapter. But while I got to experience combat more in this mode, it felt like I was also playing the overleveled man, martial arts master, so it didn't feel like I was actually getting the combat experience. The music in this scenario is much more upbeat to keep you moving and to keep you feeling energized. And while I have my gripes about other pieces of this demo itself, I feel like the music always really sets the tone of every single chapter, or every single piece of a chapter that you're playing. In Distant Future, it's pretty silent, but in Imperial China, there's a much more upbeat, energetic music in the background. Again, as I reiterate, it was hard for me to be invested in this story as well. It's not that it was bad, it's just that this chapter seemed to focus a lot harder on the gameplay than the storytelling. The final scenario in this story is Japan. This one dives heavily into gameplay. You have an overworld action that lets you hide in plain sight. Using this, you can avoid certain battles and avoid enemies who are too tough for you to defeat. The game is appearing to set up each storyline to have its own unique mechanics. This ensures that every playthrough will at least be different beyond just doing fights. The story in this scenario is obviously not the focus. In fact, you spend very little time dwelling on the story bits. They have a very short introduction segment at the beginning, and then it's straight into gameplay. You play as a shinobi, and you're not built for long, drawn-out fights, so stealth is really your best friend. In a lot of cases, you're given the option to choose whether to engage enemies or whether to hide from them or pretend that you're someone you're not. But if you don't fight every enemy, the game will remind you in many cases that you're not built for long, drawn-out fights. Meanwhile, if you do fight every enemy, you will also be constantly reminded, as your character will take 
count of the number of lives they've taken. This chapter really felt like it gave the opportunity for the gameplay side to shine, to show that every route is going to have something unique about it. It gives you a ton of battling opportunities as well, and unique ways to interact with NPCs. Speaking of which, one thing I really like about this game that I've kind of been pining for for a while is that every dialogue choice you make for your protagonist character has voice acted lines. So as long as the main protagonist can speak. Yes, my lord. Oh, come now. Very well. I'll see to the lad. But I absolutely love that they went out of their way to voice each individual choice. I think this demo really just gives you a taste of what is to come. It could be a fantastic game with well-told stories. I've never played the original, so I don't really know. But for me personally, I felt like this demo didn't really hook me. It cast a lot of lines, but none of them were attractive enough for me to grab hold. It simply presents very early pieces of a story. Had this demo allowed for maybe an hour of gameplay from each chapter, I would have probably gotten into it a little bit more. But spending less than an hour with each chapter for a story-based RPG really doesn't hold you. In a lot of JRPGs, you hit this feeling at a certain point that you really want to continue playing the game. And usually that doesn't always happen in the first 40 minutes. Of course, I could go online and look up videos for this game to figure out whether I actually want it or not, but chances are I'm not going to do that because this demo really didn't grab me the way a lot of others do. And I think the game wants you to be invested in the concept of the storyline more so than the characters immediately, as you don't get to know most of them very well. However, I don't really want to be like the Debbie Downer of this game and like, oh, Live Alive is bad. No, I don't think it's bad. I just think this demo doesn't really give enough. Like, I just needed a little bit something more to really hook me into it, you know? The presentation, as usual, is stellar. I mean, what can you expect from Square Enix? But they've really mastered this HD 2D style, and I hope that they continue to make more games out of this. I'm super excited for that Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D game. Regardless, summing it up, Live Alive has a lot of interesting elements, but it doesn't totally pack them all together, at least in this demo. So my first impressions are just not super positive. I'm seeing stuff that says that it could be good, but I'm not seeing things that make me feel like I'm definitely getting my money's worth for picking up this game. But again, this is a demo, it's very short, and I hope that it's a lot better than this demo makes it out to be. Unfortunately for Live Alive, there's a much bigger game on the horizon that I'm really looking forward to. But do you disagree? Are you enjoying the Live Alive demo? And perhaps at this point when you're viewing this video, the full game? Let me know in the comments, I really want to know. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and subscribe to the channel for more JRPG coverage. Okay, bye!